I think collecting is a human trait. It's something that we're born with. It's funny, I've got three kids and when we go to the beach, they naturally just start collecting stones, picking their favorites, cleaning them, organizing them. I've now got a house full of stones. I've always collected stuff as far back as I can remember. It was almost a way of gathering information. You know, collecting was how to learn, obsess about a subject. The first graffiti publication I got was Subway Art, and that was back in 1989, a gift from my mum for Christmas. And that really kicked off my interest in graffiti and my desire to get more and more printed publications. The lowriders I was looking at when I was 14, 15 form so much of the work that I make nowadays. One of my other bigger collections is the Gundam robots. I just love the aesthetics and the building. For me, building them is just meditation. So much so that I now get a bit anxious if I don't have a stock of kits to build. If I was going to give anyone a piece of advice about buying art, I would say choose something that you're happy looking at every day. One of the first pieces you see when you come into my house is this piece by the Mexican painter Smithy One. I really love this piece because my son has cochlear implants. He's profoundly deaf and I love the kind of bionic nature of the character in the painting. Really resonates to me and my son. This piece by Cause I love. When I first saw the original piece by this in Hong Kong in 2014, I had two kids at the time and I'm pretty sure I was holding them in the same pose as the statue and I just loved the fact that his companion characters had grown up at the same time that I had grown up. One of the first pieces I bought when I could afford it was this Espo, Stephen Powers. I've met him a few times, but it felt really nice to be able to go to his shop in Brooklyn and buy a piece of work. I also really love the little shout out to Revs. These lighters really represent modern relics of a bygone era. I've been collecting them for the last 20 years. They represent a time where smoking was part of everyday life. This gratuitous objectification was part of everyday life. These are all outdated ideas that are kind of personified in this one object. I think with some collections, you do just wake up one day and have to stop. I mean, I really don't need any more plastic robots. But then I know that I always will need to collect, and these will ultimately be replaced by something else.